All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on wiring this old truck. Here's what we're looking at right here. Got the ignition switch, headlight switch, dimmer switch, all the wiring from the front to the rear. Fuse box, it's got all the push-in fuses instead of the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this box here installed first. Got to go right up in here. I got to put a plate on the back. Get some longer studs right here that go through the inner fender. So I'll get all this hooked up real quick and get to going. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mount the plate to the back of the fuse box, which will mount in right there like that number. Using the two outer holes here going this way, we'll get that mounted. And these two top bolts here will go straight into my firewall. Them two right there. Let's check that out. Them two bolts right there, which I don't have my fire, uh, my inner fenders on yet. So I'm just going to temporarily put the bolts in. Then when I put my inner fenders on, I can take them back out, lay my fuse box to the side, and go ahead and bolt that up when my inner fenders go on. Them two studs right there going straight through. They're a little bit longer. Than the original that's what we're looking at right there you can see the top bolt right right up in there there's one there one over there so what i'll do i'll just pull the fuse box back when i go to put my inner fenders on and uh that's what we're going to be looking at let's get started i'm gonna go ahead and put that plate on the back all right, here's the instructions. There's the fuse box, the plate on the back, and that's the firewall. It'll have the spacer nuts right there in between it after I get everything tightened up and do it right. That's what we're looking at. Let's get that plate put on the back. All right, that's what we're looking like after the plate's on. The one here on the bottom, a little rubber piece like a cushion that hits the firewall. There we go. All right, remember I don't have my inner fenders on, so these will be coming back off later when I go to put them on. Always like putting a little bit of padding up there to give them wires something to roost against to keep it off that metal so hard. So pretty tight fit when it comes around. So that should help. All right, just pretend like the inner fenders are on, which they're not. Two bolts coming out and I got two spacer nuts on both sides. There's two here and two here. There's the cushion on the back on this side on the bottom. There we go right there. See how tight the wires hit against the firewall up top. So we'll get that bolted up. We'll be good to go. All right, going by what the plans show, the instructions, everything's labeled, dimmer switch, rear body, front lighting, all the way through the dash, heater, this and that. So everything's labeled real good too on every wire. It's got where it goes. So we're gonna go just what it shows. That will be going through the through the front all the way out to the front grill for the lighting front lights headlights now i'll go ahead and get my dimmer switch in and go ahead and start routing it all the way through the dash here we go all right i'm gonna go ahead and use this on all my connectors keep out the moisture corrosion this and that
All right, before I go any further, got everything pretty much routed up through here. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my new headlight switch and my wipers. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in. All right, on this headlight switch, it comes with a, a knob they give you here that you can put in. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the original one. Just a simple push in, push the little button on the back, push it in, push the button again, take it out. We're going back with the original one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the instrument cluster. It gives me several ways to hook it up with warning lights or with gauges. So we're gonna be going with the 62 to 63 with warning lights. Unlike I done my red pickup there, I had gauges on it, so. Let's get started. These little bad boys here are kind of tough to put on, but once I get them crimped up, then I'll come back and put a little bit of solder on there, help it out. All right, now that I got the cluster all hooked up, ready to go, all the wires, got two connectors right here that'll plug in. I won't be using none of these gauges, but I got them hooked up anyway, just in case, since I'm using these aftermarket oil and water, so everything's hooked up, ready to go there. All right, I got everything laid out pretty close to seeing what I'm looking at. Got the main ones running to the engine. Had to go right in there. Got my wipers plugged in. Coming on down, I got a few more wires here hanging. One hanging right here. The rest of them's coming out of the dash. I uh, got these two right here, which I know will go into my brake light back there. One on top, one on the bottom. I'll get them plugged in real quick. All right, got the ignition switch plugged in. Just a simple push-in type of situation. It comes with some aftermarket pieces here to go in the front, but the original one still works. So that's what we're going with. You may have to use this back spacer here to adjust it in and out. So yeah. All right, I'm starting another day here. Got a little bit more done last night. Still got to get the blinkers and all that hooked up here. I got them laying to the side. This is going out toward the back, brake lights and all that. I'll plug that in. Got my top dome light and all that. A few things I got tied up, marked here, dash light, uh, backup switch, got the heater. Nothing's really plugged in right now. This is going out to the solenoid starter. There's a radio way up here. Got the plug in. Don't have a radio right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the engine kit. That's what I'm working on now. Got it coming out the firewall there. Both sides. So we'll get started on it. Here I go. All right, here's what the engine kit looks like coming out of the firewall. I won't be using the temperature gauge or the oil, but I'm gonna lay them to the side, future, whatever, since I've got the aftermarket. 
under the dash I'll plug that purple and red wire in going to the solenoid and just go by the plans here we go What I like doing is running some of this masking tape on here, this painter's tape, just to get everything to hold together real good. Then I'll come back with some black electrical tape. Then I'll loom it all up real good. Run it up the firewall, wherever. All right, after getting everything wired up, got it going through the firewall right here, as you can see. Still ain't got my lights or nothing coming out. I'll get them later. That's a different alternator than what I had on there before. The other one went no good. Got the bottom wires run down the side of the frame rail and up. So I done fired it up. stuff right here going on right now. I'll hook all that up later. Got my choke temporary hooked up for now. I'm going to go ahead and put this cluster in. Alright, I got the seats just sitting in there now. They're not bolted up or nothing. We're going to go ahead and cruise around the block. Check it out. I've uh, been letting it warm up a little bit, so let's go. Ready? Yeah. Alright, the old truck done pretty good going around the block. Had to come back and adjust the time and it was off a little bit. And I had to adjust the carburetor a little bit more. Still got to finish the wiring coming out the front. I'll do that when I get the front clip on there and across the back. So I got all that ready to go whenever I get started. Yeah, but for now, everything's doing okay. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all take it easy.